Hey there, guys. <laughs> I can't believe that it's actually here, but it is here. Uh, my latest deck, I've been working on this for a while. Um, it's the Primordial Warrior Oracle, and it's a standalone deck, but it can be used with the Primordial Compass Tarot deck. This is an Oracle deck, this is a tarot deck, and today's video is going to be about the Oracle deck. Because that's brand new. <laughs> I literally received this 15 minutes ago. I flick through it, I can't believe it's here. I love the way it looks. The tin got an upgrade because I um, really like the previous version of the tins, but now they offer this really cool shiny like more durable version that also allows for a blurb on the back which i love going on go on a journey into the dark with the primordial warrior oracle you'll meet friends foes and magical beasts along the way to assist at reflection and divination this 60 card deck contains two suits the suit of journeys and the suit of magical beasts to help you along the way something's coming designed by Levi Smiths, and that would be me. So that's what the box looks like. I love these tins. The reason why I choose tins is because I want you guys to be able to, I don't know, actually take them with you. So yeah, this is what you get. It's quite a chunky deck, and I decided to not do a little white book but instead use the extra cards that I had left to fill as sort of the little white book. So the title card is right here. You are the Oracle. The cards tell a story. You write the ending. And this, this is my motto. This right here is my motto. Because I hate Oracle decks that force you to be dependent on a guidebook. There we have the blurb on the back. And here we have the two sigils that you can find in this deck. The Suit of Journeys has a green sigil on the back of the cards. And the Suit of Journeys is loosely inspired by the Hero's Journey as well as um, uh, the Tarot. So that's really interesting. And then we have the Suit of Magical Beasts. And that bears a purple sigil on the back of the cards. So yeah. And then we have this little card that has all the meanings on there and the reason why i chose to put it all on one card is once again because i want you guys to um come up with your own way to use this like this deck is meant to be used intuitively and the keywords mentioned are purely suggestions always follow your own intuition because you write the story so all the suggested keywords are on here and for the magical beasts it's uh it already has really clear keywords on the cards and then it has the name of the beast behind it so yeah that's that and then there's one more title card that's all about spreads and uh the most important spread in this deck let me put these aside real quick the most important spread for this deck is a two card spread where you divide the deck into its two suits, shuffle each pile and pick one card from each suit. And then the card with the green sigil is the card for journeys, what will be the next step on your journey, and card two, magical beasts, which magical beast will guide you during this next step. So yeah, <laughs> and then there's a couple of three card spreads on the back. So this is all really interesting. I love that I have this. I'm going to put this on my altar <laughs> to remind myself of how important I think this is. But you guys want to see the cards. And I love the way they turned out. I love make playing cards, card stock. It's great. Let me divide the deck into its two suits real quick. Uh, and that's really easy because you can clearly see a difference between the Magical Beasts and the Journey suit. All right, let me put the Magical Beasts aside. Now, most of these aren't going to be new for you because you have seen these on my Insta, <laughs> or at least most of these. But I'm going to show you guys regardless. 
this one, one of my favorites, Spiritual Journey. There are four horned deities in here. I'm going to put this one aside real quick. And they all represent a different way of how horned deities are worshipped. And this one represents the white stag. And in old mythology, whenever you'd see a white stag, it would mean time to for time for a new step within your spiritual journey then we have the oracle hidden the secret we're not going to do it like this this is annoying i'm going to put the horn deity right here we're going to put the cards front and center so hidden the oracle the secret, the shadow, the scholar. This is one of my favorites, like that scholarly energy, scholar of the tarot, scholar of the occult. The mage, which was inspired by Bathhouse Mystic, one of my favorite, favorite accounts on Insta. Growth, I have redone this card multiple times <laughs> and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Unlock. Unlock the key to your to your heart is always with you. The encounter. This one's really interesting. Is it a friendly encounter or is it a rivalry? <laughs> Who knows? Frozen, stuck between two worlds. The word Smith. I love how vibrant this one became. I was kind of scared of it when I sent it off to the printers. If it was gonna capture that vibrant essence that I had a vision for it, but it totally did. Sexuality very often ignored within decks in general and especially within decks that have a good balance of masculine and feminine. The sexuality or sensuality card is never about a man. It's always about a pretty woman sitting in water or whatever. And I was like, nope. So this is another one of the horned deities that's in the deck so I'm going to put this one aside as well so you can see all of them because I love my horned deities. The dreamer which is kind of linked to the fool. The talisman for protection. The vision. The omen with a lovely aurora borealis right here that was really hard to to make and it turned out great. The monarch giving you that emperor kind of energy. Retreat and regroup the portal to different realms fantasy realms within or without the warrior betwixt and between because i love to pay attention to the liminal spaces to pay attention to what's neither here nor there to pay attention to what's not really nothing but also not something very important for me Unveil, unveil all the secrets, unveil all the knowledge that you need. Curiosity, love how this turned out. Attract abundance, another one of the horned deities within my deck, and I love it. Let me put that aside. Unleash magic, the unknown, luminescent, Temptation, also another one of the horned deities in my deck, and this one kind of has that devil vibe from the tarot. And uh, the guardian. All right. So that is the suit of journeys. Let me put all the horned deities right here because I love them, love them, love them. Okay, so I already kind of talked to you guys about this one, uh, the white stag which normally isn't depicted as a guy, but I wanted to. Uh, this is kind of annoying me that these are right here in the frame. <laughs> Let me move these up a little bit so we can see all of their gloriousness. Then we have sexuality, which is kind of my version of pan. Then we have attract abundance, which is kind of my version of Carnuno's. Like that god of nature and abundance all around us and then we have temptation which kind of has a satan devil feel so yeah <laughs> i love pairs with index and there are a lot of pairs in this deck 
but I'm not going to show all of them to you right now because we have to move on to the next suit. This is the suit of Magical Beasts. And all of them have, this is really funny that this one, because these are not in order anymore, I already played with them. And it's funny that this one came up first because um, this is the only card within the suit of Magical Beasts that doesn't have a guy in it. And I would really like to explain why. Um, because the Dragonfly is all about illusions, seeing through illusions and deceit. And I thought that this image was so strong by itself that it didn't need that extra on the card. So yeah. <laughs> Allow darkness, that's the raven. Omnipotent, the, e the eagle. Stamina, the bull. Navigate for the sea turtle. Toxic for the snake. Beauty, koi fish. This one was very important for me because also within balanced decks, Beauty is never depicted by a man, and I wanted it to be in there, so I had to have it like this. Instinct and sensitivity. I love this little rabbit right here. Nuance. That's what that's what the starfish is all about, seeing that there's not just black and white, but that there are many gray tones in between. Confidence. The bear. I drew this bear for my newly born nephew and this one this illustration is on his door right now so and i had to have it in the deck too because i love bears weaver of fate sensuality the peacock mysticism and magic i had to have a unicorn in here like i included many not just actual animals but also mythical beasts wisdom the wolf Determination, the wild boar. Pridefulness, the stag. Ignite, fire dragon. Trust intuition, the owl. Majestic, the lion, also one of my favorites. Playfulness, with the little squirrel right there. <laughs> Rebirth, the phoenix. Grounded energy, earth dragon. Expand Awareness, the Jaguar. Gentleness, Dolphins. Loyalty, the Bison. Shapeshifter, the Fox or Kitsune. Delve Deeper, the Water Dragon. Grace, the Gazelle. Mental Illumination, Air Dragon. And last but not least, one of my favorites, Courage and Boldness, the Griffin. This deck will be available soon uh, through my Make Playing Cards website. If you go to my Instagram, you can click on the link in the bio. It's not up for sale yet, but it will be soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye.